Your Excellency, um, I have the honour to present to you my letters of credence as the British High Commissioner to the Commonwealth of Dominica and the letters of recall for my predecessor. I'm really proud to be the representative of Her Majesty, of the British Government and of the British people to, in the Commonwealth of Dominica. I'm committed to strengthening the relationship between our two states, governments and peoples. In this interdependent world, it's increasingly important that we work together to tackle the challenges we face, including um, the achieving sustainable economic growth, including the development of green or low-carbon solutions as we work to emerge from this global recession, combating climate change and ensuring energy security, which includes efforts towards achieving a global agreement at the forthcoming UN negotiations in Copenhagen in December, taking full account of those most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Working to promote regional security, including efforts to stem the tide of organised crime and in particular drug trafficking. Promoting human interaction, including through flows of tourists and of students. I look forward to working with Dominica bilaterally and through the relevant Caribbean regional organisations to further these objectives. I also look forward to meeting a wide range of people here, not just in pursuit of these aims, but also in friendship. And in, these, in the years of my mission, I intend to visit as much as I can of your beautiful country and to see firsthand the nature island of the Caribbean. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance and to be here. Your Excellency, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to our country and to receive your letter of credence issued by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, accrediting you as a representative and plenipotentiary of the United Kingdom in the Commonwealth of Dominica. I also acknowledge receipt of the letter of recall of your predecessor, His Excellency Duncan John Rushworth Taylor. I have every hope that you will continue the work of your predecessor in strengthening the bonds of fruitful and cordial relations and cooperation between Dominica and the United Kingdom, which goes back for centuries and will also explore new and better means to improve and deepen bilateral cooperation as we strive for the development of our people. We thank the United Kingdom for providing invaluable economic support to Dominica over the years, including its efforts in defending the access of Caribbean bananas to the European market and the funding of 31 projects of 15 beneficiary agencies during the four-year tenure of His Excellency Duncan Taylor. We acknowledge also the assistance of the United Kingdom in the area of human resource development, in the training and development of our regional security system personnel, and the operation of the Working Holiday Makers Scheme, in which a few of our citizens are already participating. It is my hope that the Department for International Development will continue to play a meaningful role in the development of projects which are within its scope, and that the High Commission will continue to provide funding for small community projects as it has done in the past. Our cooperation with the United Kingdom in the international arena and in Commonwealth fora can be counted upon, and we look forward to providing continued support for the candidacy of the United Kingdom on various international bodies in appropriate circumstances. I do hope that Your Excellency will visit Dominica from time to time and that you will experience the warmth and hospitality of our government and people. I also hope that your assignment will be a fruitful and rewarding one. I take this opportunity to ask Your Excellency to convey to Her Majesty the best wishes of my government and the people of the Commonwealth of Dominica and my personal good wishes for her continued good health and well-being and for the prosperity of the people of the United Kingdom. <laughs>